Fun addition. Yeah, it's a fun yeah, episode. Yeah, Steve, um, not Steve Blue Mash your voices. Steve Blue Mash. I know there's a few other voices that come up, yeah. especially in season two. He did a few voices for the show. Uh, it's actually pretty funny because there's a scene where they're two in the same room talking to each other. So the voice actor is literally talking to himself in the recording studio. But uh, anywho, yeah, I like this episode. It's a good so start episode for the Green Goblin. Yeah. Uh, kind of like tipping off the second half of the season. Yeah, as well as uh, getting more Mary Jane in the fray. Yes, we got Mary Jane, a lot of Mary Jane in this episode. This is her chances to. I, I, this is probably my favorite interpretation of Mary Jane. In yeah. The, like, I feel like this one gets it right compared to the other versions because. And the other animated series, she's way too perfect. Yeah. <laughs> like, way too, like, pixie fairy charming perfect. Uh, and then the movie version was the movie version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one kind of gets the fact that, yeah, she's, like, a good person, but she's also an incredible flirt. <laughs> yeah. And she's very well aware of it. And she owns it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, probably with one of the... The best she, lines of the show. Which, oh, God, yeah. Which, uh, not only is she, like, perfectly okay with herself, she just does not give a shit what anyone else says. Yeah. And just toys with them right back, because, of course, Peter, uh, Peter brings up the ball, and everyone else, like, gets instantly jealous or angry, like, how dare yeah. she brings the hot redhead to the ball and all that shit. And there's a point where Peter has to leave to take pictures for the bugle, which, when I say well, that... he does. I know he does, but... <laughs> He emails him. But, yeah. um, <laughs> they go fight the Green Goblin, and he goes, oh, that must be heartbroken to be dumped by the, the class geek. He goes, oh, I know. It's going to heartbreak me so much. I guess I'll just have to dance with, it's Randy, right? And Randy just goes, very, very. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a gold one. Do you ever think, like, censors look back in shows like this and go, oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Like, there's a few jokes in this show, kind of like the Animaniacs or Powerpuff Girls, I can't think, it's like, how the hell did they get away with that joke? Yeah. Uh, this is definitely one of them. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun little, what? Sorry, I just remember some of the other jokes from Animaniacs, that's all. Oh yeah, it's all on Amazon Prime, I've been watching the crap out of them lately. Yeah. Uh, but anywho, so yeah, this one has a lot of good, ban like, good introduction to Green Goblin, uh, I, I miss the hat. Why is it so hard to get the floppy hat in there? Uh, I don't know. It's it's a minor nitpick design choice, but yeah, I was fine. I was fine with it over with it overall. No, it looked pretty good. I mean, it still looks very vintage uh, Green Goblin. So he's got like the uh, the hat from Firefly more than the <laughs> the Green Goblin hat. <laughs> okay, it's it's such a minor thing. It doesn't really matter. But it's like I I want my floppy hat. <laughs> but uh, either way, he's a fun character, and he has a lot of good banter. He he does come off as. A li at least somewhat intimidating. Yeah. Even with all the goofy one-liners and all the quips and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Tombstone's still a badass. <laughs> he kind of established himself. Just, again, just uh, one of those characters does not give a shit. Nothing you do is going to face him. Yeah. If anything, you're probably inadvertently playing into his hands. Or pissing him off. That's yeah. kind of what it comes down to. At most, like, because uh, the Green Goblin knows who the big man is and breaks into, like, his lavish party where, oh, yeah, we also get... Uh, John Jameson's first appearance in the show, too. Yeah. Uh, who voices him? Did you find out? It was the same guy who voices, Jay for, voices Jonah Jameson. Oh, shit, the, the same guy? Yeah. Oh, cool, okay. And I can never remember the guy's name. All I know is he voices Cosmo slash Timmy's dad in Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> you would never think. <laughs> you would never yeah, think. Yeah, he's got good range. So, good for him. Uh... They don't really do much of them in here, episode. they do more of them in the future episodes. Right. Uh, there's one particular episode of season two where they pull up some uh, insanely obscure comic book shit with him that most fans completely forgot about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what are your thoughts? Uh, this this is uh, definitely one of the better ones. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, it's fast, you know, good dialogue. Uh -huh. um, as I said, you know, love the characters still. Oh, yeah. Like, the char the character's kind of yeah. hard not to like in this one. Yeah, I felt like Norman just kind of got, like, dumb for no reason, though. Norman? Yeah. Or, sorry, Harry. Oh, okay. Harry becomes a dick. Yeah. <laughs> for a while. Oh, I know he will. Yeah, because uh, this is, like, when they start introducing, uh, very cleverly introducing Harry Osborn's drug problems from the comic books. Yeah. But in this case, it's in, like, a little vial from Oscorp called Globulin Green. <laughs> uh, which, you know, no big hint there. Wink, yeah. wink, nod, nod. Uh, yeah. I'm not like uh, no, you're right. Like even like uh, I felt I felt bad for Gwen in this episode too because she gets shafted. Uh, Eddie surprisingly is in this episode too, but he doesn't really have a line. Yeah, he just he scowls. Yeah, <laughs> bad PD. 
I don't know why, but I feel like turning into alien symbiote and killing you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird little tick. I can't explain it. But, uh... Yeah, well, now we get to see Flash do the robot. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. But it's... And we got his favorite laugh. <laughs> oh, the favorite laugh. <laughs> 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 it's kind of weird like, neighbors walk by. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, well, now you got some good character moments from Gwen, you got some good moments from, of course, Spider-Man and Green Goblin have a great little fight scene. Yeah. I also really like the foreshadowing with, uh, Green Goblin and the glider, because he has a little blade that sticks oh, out of yeah. the mouth of the guy. There's like, that's a good little bit of foreshadowing. It's like, oh, so they do take some, so they basically do use what they did in the Sam Raimi movie then? Well, I mean, that's how it happened in the comics, too. Okay. Yeah, that's how it happened originally in the comics, is he got paled his own glider. That wasn't just ah. what the movie did, that's what the comic did, too. That makes sense. Uh, so that's, it's a big part of the comic book lore. Um, but yeah, other than that, like, I, I, I really like some of the Green Goblin's lines. I think my favorite was, uh, when he's, like, trying to get some of the big man's, uh, forces to work for his side. He goes, no way, man, if Turk is a big man, we might as well tell the toe tags of ourselves. <laughs> Green Goblin goes, I'm good with knots, too. <laughs> 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 did you catch that, or did you No, miss I missed that line. It's a good little line. <laughs> Or was the other thing, just when he did that weird flip through the building when the... Uh, oh, yeah, like, he, like yeah. his glider crashes backwards and he flips over the building, lands back on the glider and the goes, the building. Wow. Just... Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so shit like that, like, it's, it's so... It's, the animation is so fucking good. Like, yeah. even with, like, the co use of colors, the use of lighting, or, you know, shadows. Yeah. In, in the game, and the, the, the game, the movie. Not the movie, the TV show! Damn it! I've reviewed too much shit lately! <laughs> Oh, uh, god damn it. I'm getting I'm getting my shit mixed up. But, uh, yeah, great action scene, great animation, great use of colors and shadows, fun characters as always. Uh, I look forward to seeing what Mary Jane does more future episodes. And, oh, I did kind of like how uh, the popular woman's eyes kind of lit up when someone says, you know, Parker cleans up nicely. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. It's it's like a blink and you miss a kind of little animation moment. You see Liz in the background, her eyes light up. Her <laughs> <is> like, <laughs> like, yeah, he does. <laughs> you go, Parker. <laughs> Get all the ladies. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, wait, anything else to say about this one? Not really. It's just, you know, good fun episode. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, I just, as, you know, I agree with you. I like what they did with Mary Jane. Like, they made her very likable in her life. Sassiness, I guess? Sassiness, yeah. Sass is a good way to put it. For, I would say flirtatious sass. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of flirtation sass. Yeah. And that comes back a lot, I think. Uh, in memory serves. Yeah. Uh, again, I also like how Tombstone also kind of just establishes his dominance a bit more yeah. in this episode, too. I was kind of like the way he was able to taunt Peter with the whole, uh, yeah. I off you know, that whole I offered you a job to do what you just did and said you just did it for free. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we the adults in the grown-up world call irony. <laughs> just love that voice. <laughs> it's, it's such a good fucking voice. Uh, I also like the like the very thinly veiled threats he gives to everyone, kind of in the episode. Yeah. And I don't know how anyone still thinks he's an upstanding citizen when he's that pale white. He has sharp teeth, and he says things like, "When you've taken so many risks today already." <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, I'd run out of the room too. Like, yeah, he's got a point there. Get out of here fast. <laughs> Uh, other than that, yeah, good episode. Uh, next episode is actually one of my favorites of the first season, so... Hmm. We'll get to that one next time. Thank you all for watching. Tune in next week for more of, uh, comic cartoons. See you guys later.